Hi, I'm Fox. Couch Guy. You're watching the Two Smart Guys Show, where every week we bring you the latest in technology, news, hacks, mods, and a little bit more insight on strange technologies that we find interesting. <laughs> Geek facts. Yes. So tonight, um, just because we see it in the fine print of all these uh, ads for The Hobbit, we're talking about frame rate. Um, in particular... How does the, it matter and why does it matter? Yeah, the, the HFS version of the IMAX Hobbit 3D, whatever they're calling it in various theaters. I love it. I love that. I love that they have to dumb. Well, they have to dumb it down, but they make it more confusing by dumbing it down. <laughs> so, I guess the basis of this is, is how does frame rate affect your viewing experience, and why is it different? What makes this one different? And you may not even notice it. Um, so. There's two options. One is if you don't want to know and you want to see whether or not you notice it, stop the video now and come back after you've watched it. If you want to know what you're getting into, we'll continue to play. <laughs> yeah. So frame rate. If you don't, if people don't, if you don't already know what frame the frame rate is or frames per second, uh, if you're looking at the video of me, I'm running in 30 frames per second approximately, and Couch Guy's probably running about 15 frames or so. Maybe less. Yeah. Depends on the, the bandwidth. <laughs> yeah. The lower the, the you know, the lower the frame rate, the choppier I get. Right. So traditionally our movies that we've enjoyed have been shot in roughly twenty four frames per second. Which as a flip book goes, you see twenty four still images every second, which gives your eyes a perception of motion. Um it's pretty remarkable. Um the difference is between you start changing that and how your brain perceives motion. Um, they say that the human brain roughly runs at what is equivalent to around 60 frames per second. Um, and after 60 frames per second, we don't really notice, you know, the differences after that. But below 60 frames per second, we can perceive the differences and we actually mostly have an emotional response to those. Um, if you have uh, someone who, if you ever want to know why your home videos or soap operas look different than movies and why they have a different feel to them, it's frame rate. Um, because they're traditionally shot in 30 frame, and whereas films are shot in 24. And then there's also interlacing, but I, th I think we covered that in a previous episode. Which Yeah, we won't worry about interlacing, because <laughs> interlacing adds a whole new layer of complication. It's easier to stay with frame rates anymore. So, so the, the big controversy. Dun, yeah, dun, so dun. Peter Jackson claims, well, people kind of get sick when they watch 3D movies, and if you have a f higher frame rate... Then it won't. It, it'll the motion will be smoother. It'll be clearer. Supposedly, not as many people get as bad headaches. It should look better, crisper. The technology can do it. They can shoot it. They can project it. Let's do it. That's that's his stance. <laughs> so in reality, he shot his film in 48 frames per second, doubling the frame rate, and would like to project it at 48 frames per second, um, thus creating a smoother motion of the higher frame rate. Now, and then adds a controversy. <laughs> yeah, then the, the, a lot of the film critics got to see a sneak peek of some of the footage, and they flipped out. They're like, ah, oh, it looks like a soap opera, and this big-budget movie looks terrible. Um, yeah. Basically is what everybody said. I have to tell you that I find it very interesting, as a side note, that we in the video, filmy you know, area, you especially, have been you know trying to get towards a consistent... 24 frame 30 no 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 a consistent 24 frame oh, yeah acquisition camera mm -hmm. for how many years because there have been you know i would be willing to bet you if you looked back three to five years in terms of youtube videos and things like that and looked up how to convert 30 frame to 24 you'll find hundreds of videos and guess what They've all stopped because most cameras anymore have a 24p function. Everybody got the cinematic look they wanted. And then Peter Jackson and James Cameron, not necessarily in cahoots, but both have started doing this, started shooting at 48 frames per second, which <laughs> I think is really funny. <laughs> like, okay, everybody can do it now. We need to do something unique. And it's true. It's, it, yeah. I, I, I believe this, that they need to do something different in the cinemas to get people out there, something you can't I necessarily disagree. do at I, home. Here is what I will say because I always say it for the, I say it for 3D, and I say it for a lot of things. It's gimmick. It's gimmick, 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 gimmick. Now there's you don't need it. It doesn't add to the story, and it only takes away from the user experience. 3D is that way, and I believe this will be that way. 
So one of the articles that I was reading is people, this, this particular person was theorizing that this is like, um, like black and white because the video gamers, the young people, they, they see these really smooth, high resolution graphics in video games and now the new movies. And then when they watch old movies and they're going to see them all jerky and blurry, they're not going to want to watch them anymore. That'll be like the difference between watching a black and white movie and a color movie. And there's still there's still people out there that still want things or you know prefer black and white. And they even came out with a new red camera that's just monotone. You know, I don't I don't know if it's quite that extreme. Um, I think that and I working at a station that does news also, and knowing where my restrictions are about I have restrictions on frame rate depending on what I'm shooting for. And it has nothing to do with the static value because when I'm doing stuff for pretty, you know, high-valued stuff, I shoot in 24. When I have to do something for news, I have to shoot in 30 or 60i if you want to get technical. It depends on what, you know, who you're talking to. But I have to shoot in 30 frame. The reason being is because the general consensus and how it was explained to me so that I would do it without arguing... <laughs> is that 24 frame per, is gives your brain it, it dispel it dispels reality and gives you a little bit more of a fantasy world you know perception whereas 30 frame higher the frame rate the more crisp for the image it looks reality it looks news it looks like you're there um, and that's one thing that they're actually saying they wanted to get was they wanted to get you look like you're there. Um, my counterpoint to that is, I don't want to look like I'm there. I want to not be there. I came there for escape, not for reality. So, so. I want to know what you guys think in the comments below. Are you going to go see The Hobbit in the HFS version? Or are you going to go see it in the regular frame rate? Are you going to see it in 2D, 3D? Or are you going to see it in the, the 3D high frame rate? I think that's the only option. Yeah, I, don't think like, can... I think there's four options. Is there four options? Or are you going to see an IMAX or see a regular? There's 3D, <laughs> there's 2D, and I don't know if 3D has a 24 frame and a high frame rate. And there's, I know there's 2D in 24 and high frame rate. Yeah. So honestly, I'm seeing the movie on Friday, and I don't know which one I'm getting. I know I'm not watching it in 3D because I won't watch a 3D movie. It's but only... I don't know which I don't know which frame rate I'm getting. So I'll have to find out, and I'll have to inquire which one I It'll get. It'll be interesting to see. If what... I get the high frame one. I'll definitely come back with a report about how that is because I want to know. This will, I believe, this will be the movie that will define whether or not this is going to be acceptable. Like, um, like Avatar was like, whether or not movies were going to move forward making 3D versions. Because up to that point, it was well, there's a lot of gimmicky going yeah, on. See, yeah, see, that's the thing: taking it seriously, doing it right, or gimmick. And I wonder whether or not this is going to lean towards gimmick. So. Uh, some fun stuff that I just wanted to show off, and I think I might have spliced them in a little bit earlier in the show just for fun. Um, other things that happen with frame rate is just you know shooting in high, really high, high frame rates, yeah. and then playing them back. Stuff is really really cool. Then, so I've got some some little things in here that you might enjoy of um, shooting at 120 frames per second, but playing it back. This at is <laughs> this is a segment I think I refer to as Pox got a new toy. Yeah, <laughs> so. Um, enjoy, and we'll see you guys next week. TwoSmartGuys.com, um, YouTube. Uh, please subscribe. Thanks, guys. This has been a Two, Two Smart, Smart Guys, guys production. production.